Hello again everyone and welcome back to another exciting video tutorial. In this video I am going to show you some very simple tips that would save you lots of hassle when it comes to adding or subtracting any two fractions. So let's go ahead and get started with first two examples. As you can see that first these two examples have unlike denominators they have a different denominator different bottom numbers so i'm going to show you how to do this one by using a really simple method that we will be doing it is called multiply across so first of all before we get started with example number one i want you to draw a big long fraction bar once you have done that one, I want you to cross multiply, multiply them across 2 and 4. 2 times 4 is what? 8. And then there is a plus sign in between. Just go ahead and put down plus sign. Now I want you to multiply across from the other side. 1 times 7 is what? 7. So then we're going to focus on the bottom numbers, which are what? 7 and what? 4. I want you to multiply these two numbers. 7 times 4. Always multiply them. So 7 times 4 is what? 28. So that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and add these two numbers on the top, which is what? 15 divided by what? 28 and that is our answer. Let's move on to next example. In this case we're going to be subtracting. We're going to be subtracting two fractions whose denominators are unlike as well. So the very first thing I want you to go ahead and put a long uh, long fraction bar and then I want you to do exactly the same way we did before in the previous example go ahead and cross multiply multiply them across 4 times 3 is 12 and then there's a minus sign in between just write down minus sign and then let's go the other way around and multiply them across as well which is 2 times 5 is what 10 now we're going to focus on the bottom number which is what 5 and what 3 5 times 3 go ahead and multiply them that is 15 so now we're just going to simplify 12 take away 10 is always 2 divided by 15 and that is our answer. See how simple this method is? You just simply multiply them across and just do the simple steps and you're going to get your answer. And next two example that we're going to be doing have like denominators. They have uh, same denominators. And I'm sure you know how to do those ones. Those are pretty easy to do. Once again, the very first thing what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and draw a big long fraction bar. Look at the bottom number, which are what? 7 in both cases. So write down 7 at the bottom just once. And then focus on the top number, which are what? 5 and 6 and there's a plus sign in between you just put down 5 plus 6 that's it you simplify these one and you're going to get your answer 5 plus 6 is what 11 over 7 is your answer so you use this method only when your denominators are same your bottom numbers are same. Likewise, we're going to be doing right now example number four. So we're going to draw a big long fraction bar and then focus on its bottom number, which are what? 11 and 11 once again. So put down 11 just once and then 
focus on its top numbers, or we call it numerator, the, the top numbers, which is what? 7 and what? 4 with a minus sign in between. So I just want you to put down 7 minus 4. Next step is just simplify 7 take away 4 is what? 3 over 11 is our answer. Piece of cake. Well, that wraps up our this tutorial. If you like this video, please share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.